Hello, it's me, Danielle Carmelita, your favorite tarot reader and astrologer. Let's talk about the full moon in Virgo. So we have a full moon in Virgo. I have my notes here. If you guys are wondering, what am I looking okay, down at? Okay, so we have a full moon in Virgo, and I'm going to do horoscopes and tarot. So, and the timestamps are down below. So look for that. Um, the full moon in Virgo is March 7th, Tuesday at... 4 40 a.m pacific standard time now it is also um going to be set at 16 degrees in virgo so um the key word for that is there are some primitive urges that could be happening because it's in the later part of 16 degrees i'm also going to say the 17 degree theme is also dramatic outbursts so um there could be some impulsiveness and um Yes, impulsiveness, or there could be like a volcanic eruption, okay? Very dramatic explosion, okay? Literally and figuratively, figuratively as well, okay? So we have that just with the degrees alone with this full moon. In also, please don't forget to subscribe like this video it is free i also have a newsletter that i send out every week it is very detailed and you won't miss out on anything because i cannot film everything astrology and tarot and numerology and divination wise so i throw it in the newsletter it is all there all at once also um when you connect with me the YouTube and the TikTok and Instagram is not in charge. I am fully in charge. So that helps me out as well. So, and also too, please share this video because um, I'm good at what I do, okay? <laughs> not only that, because you wanna share the love, you wanna share the knowledge, okay? So yes, share the love, it is free. Okay, so let's talk about the full moon themes that we have, full moon, uh, for full moons, regardless if we're dealing with Virgo energy or not, is that the emotions run high because it's opposing our sun. Yeah, there's restlessness. There's going to be growth from this energy healing, and it also illum illuminates, illuminates the hidden. So we're going to see things that were hidden and in the dark, okay? There's gonna be revelations and aha moments and um, somewhat of a cleanse is really the energy um, full moons are a time of releasing and relinquishing if you have an excess in your life this is a time of for it is this is a time for it to go down the drain through silence meditation exchanging of thoughts and spiritual practice full moons are a point when we can let go okay so that is the energy of the full moon as a whole then um, full moon rituals, okay? Everyone loves a great ritual. And um, also here you see that it has the phases of the moon and the new moon is where you set your intentions and the things you wanna manifest. And a full moon basically helps you say, okay, well, this is how you can make that manifestation better. This is what you need to change. This is how you can improve it. That's why you see that full moon directly on the opposite of the new moon. Okay. So during these, um, the full moon rituals is all about meditation, self-reflection, releasing, doing some groundwork, tuning into nature, journaling, which is also dealing with reflection, meditation as well. Um, cleansing your physical body and physical space is also, a uh, um, full moon ritual giving thanks which is gratitude you can also do that through journaling or verbally saying it and eating healthy especially with this virgo and full moon but that's also an energy it's really about cleansing the body as well okay and eating healthy also helps um, your external helps your internal because it is carrying that soul you know, okay um yes anyway so those are the full moon rituals. Let's talk about Virgo energy because we're talking about the full moon. We're talking about the full moon in Virgo, okay? And the essence of Virgo um, energy is dedicated, resourcefulness, helpful, hardworking, health conscious, analytical, clever, witty, habitual, self-sacrificing, and practical. Um, also with Virgo energy, it is an earth element. Um, so hence the practicality and, um, 
the, st the stability that Virgo-ness brings through the earth. And then you also have, and then slow, okay? Earth is, to me, moves very slow. And then also with this energy, you have um, mutable. Um, Virgo is a mutable element and with the mutable element, you have you have the ability to change and um, impulsiveness and um, just flowing more and not being so rigid with this energy. And then lastly, feminine energy. Virgo is a feminine energy and um, it's all about internal situations more than external so this is not going to really be dealing as much with external energy however we're dealing with the moon so that involves more female relationships we'll get into that um yes okay so that is the virgo energy as a whole and then the uh polar opposite of virgo is pisces so we have that energy of um Pisces is all like, where am I? What's going on? And we have the Pisces season. And then the Virgo, it's like, what do you mean? What do you, like, reel it in. Be more realistic. This is not what you're, you're daydreaming. You're dreaming. Like, wake up and be more realistic. So you have that energy balancing. But now it's in the moon. So it's more emotional. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, okay. So I'm just trying to explain the energy as a whole. Now, some negative parts of because every part has a shadow side okay and a negative energy uh could be preachy okay virgo energy self-destructive anxious overwhelming self-pity uptight slow perfectionist and critical and virgo energy is usually when you're these things okay it's really a insecurity within yourself uh, if you know Virgo placements, that's really because they're not happy with themselves. So they shout those things out to the world. And um, so when they are externally doing that to you, that means that internally they are beating themselves up 10 times worse. And now that this is dealing with the collective, right? You're dealing with this energy because we're all feeling this full moon. Be aware of that. That's really your insecurities coming out, okay? So um, that is the negative side of Virgo energy. So what does it mean though? You got the Virgo and the moon in, and a full moon energy. Um, there will be a sudden awareness in our lives in areas of order and things that we are neglecting for as work, our habits, um, routines, health, and service to others. Because I didn't mention earlier that um, Virgo energy is self-sacrificing and servitude is also a, ma a major energy with Virgo. So, um, I mean, a major uh, characteristic with Virgo energy. So that those things will be looked at as a whole from the collective. So when you're looking at the news, when you're out in the world, when you're dealing with people, um, that is the collective energy and um, might even just be dealing with you internally in your home with yourselves and with your emotions. There's going to be this this theme constantly coming up with this full moon. These themes that I'm named here. OK, now let's talk about the aspects with the full moon in Virgo. And there are several. Oh, first is this big one. So we have Saturn that's entering. This is not an aspect, but Saturn's entering Pisces. Um, that's going to be the next video. So look out for that. That might be a live. I'll give a countdown. Click the little bell. And um, like I said, uh, click the link in my bio. So you'll be able to know when I'm doing a live. And um, also that would be very detailed in a newsletter as well. But I also talked about Pisces energy in a previous video. So if you want to know more just about Pisces energy alone, check that out. Now let's talk about the aspects. So we have the sun is opposing the moon always when there is a full moon. So you're going to feel out of sorts and you're quite not sure like why am I feeling out of sorts? Because your external is battling your internal, okay? So your ego, your vitality, which represents your sun is opposing your internal, which is your emotions and how you are alone. It's it's they're fighting, okay? So that is what you get from that always when there is a full moon. Um, this right here is moon is squaring Mars. So Mars is how you pursue things, how you, uh, your motivation to get things, your drive. And it's 
it's it's kind of strong square means it's just strong and also not getting along but it's going to enhance in some way for you to be like look at me pay attention but with this mar the moon squaring mars the, you're gonna feel like you have to rush to get to the agenda too soon which is basically whatever it is in your when i talk about your horoscopes and also uh like i said you could be in a rush of like i need to get this habit done the right way i need to do it right now i need to hurry up and clean my space um so be aware of that and practice patience because once you are aware of this energy you're like wait a minute no 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 you're not gonna trick me so moon is also opposing mercury so Mercury is about communication and how we communicate to others, okay? It also is about um, transportation as well and um, technology. So think before you speak, think before you text, think before you post. Um, yes, because uh, that's dealing with your emotions. And that means it's not getting along of how you communicate. So be aware of that, okay? And that is the collective energy. Um, moon is trining Uranus, and Uranus is all about thinking out of the box and being different. So be flexible because this is working together. So this is a time to be inspired and to be flexible, um, especially through your emotions and especially when it comes to your habits and how you're going to do things. Um, whatever that Virgo energy you're going to use, be more flexible and work with that um, emotionally, okay? So the moon is opposing Neptune. So be more aware of your emotions, also vulnerable to what others are feeling because Neptune is very, um, it has like, it fills the room, it fills the energy in the room and the moon is not not um, agreeing with that energy. So just pay attention more if you're someone who is somewhat aloof, if you're someone who doesn't pay attention to others, be aware that um, that might be worse than normal, okay? Um, or maybe if you normally are like that and um, you're not aware of it, it, it's it just know that that energy is happening so it's opposing and you want to be aware of spirituality of uh feelings and sensitivity and compassion you want to have that and don't let that affect you emotionally now let's do the tarot for the collective i have the moon not the moon i have the african tarot here and yes, and I'm shuffling the cards and let's see what we have here. We have the four of pentacles and thinking of Virgo, this makes me think as a collective, we need to save, um, do not spend. Um, it's all about usually you're giving, but this person is like, okay, no, let's hold off. Let's wait. Let's chill. And um, so if it's not dealing with money, it's dealing with just keep it or let's relax let's just hold on to it then um we have the two of wands this is about researching and getting ready for the next step of expansion so while you're getting ready to expand while you're getting ready to make this big move this is a time for you to gather information let me pull one more this is for the collective oh we have something that fell out actually two cards so, oh, we have three. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. So this is all about thinking logically um, and communicating. Um, and this is a king. So this is someone who is the leader of communication and someone who is people go to them and there's clear communication and there's logic and not too much where you're not being emotional, but being level headed. Okay. So control the emotions as well. And then we have perseverance. Stay, you stand your ground. Do not worry about, I can't stay strong. It's almost going to end. The end is near. Just persevere. And lastly, we have the moon. <laughs> God is laughing at us. He's like, come on now. Okay, so the moon is also representing Pisces energy with illusions and fear and illuminating what you are fearing as well. All of these are, things are going to happen. This is not a coincidence. I don't believe in that. Okay, um, God wants you to know all of these things. And these are the themes. So uh, money is an issue. It's time to save. Um, this is not a time to give away or to give out keep your energy, save your energy, protect your energy. Then we also have uh, collect knowledge, 
prepare for the movement ahead. Lastly, we have logic and communication. Make Be the king of those two things. So really be level-headed and um, take your time with communication and then stand your ground, persevere. The end is almost near. And then lastly, we have the moon, which is representing Pisces energy. So spirituality, deal with that, okay? Feminine energy, also dealing with the mom is the moon because the, the moon represents your mom and represents female energy. And then also um, illusions and fears and dreams, okay? So all that is for the collective. Get ready for that Virgo and full moon. It seems like it's gonna be more um, emotional and spiritual. And um, that's what I'm getting, especially with that last card. So let's get into the horoscopes. And I'm also gonna pull a tarot card for each horoscopes. So let's get into the first one. The first one, we have Pisces. Hello, Pisces, welcome. Now you have the full moon in your seventh house and then it's going to enter your eighth house. Okay, so pay attention to your personal relationships because the seventh house represents that all about relationships energy. Um, the relationships you are more you're more emotional. There's a typo there. The relationships you're you are that it bugs me already. You're more emotional at this time affects. Uh, oh, you're more emotional um, at this time when it comes to relationships. Okay, so you're more emotional at this time when it comes to re um, relationships. Now, if you're in a bad marriage, if you're a bad relationship, this is going to really like. Um, open up your eyes. Also, um, any type of haters, if you're dealing with haters, there's going to be a sense of awareness with that. Um, but if you all, if you're in love, it's all good here, then, um, it's going to enter the eighth house and, um, it's going to draw some intense people or some people who are not quite your normal, uh, oh, sorry, your normal type okay um you're gonna have that energy be more drawn to it emotionally um or you might be overly possessive over some property someone else's property um and it's something that's holding memories from the past okay and remember all the aspects that i said earlier for you because that will be affecting you as well um we have that you are going on a new journey there's a new start here so get ready for that be naive ask questions it's okay to be naive ask questions, whatever this new journey is going to start you on, either with a new relationship or um, letting go because uh, the new journey, the fool is packing light, okay? He does not have a lot of baggage. So let go of whatever those, the something physical you're trying to hold on to, let it go, okay? And it's not yours. It's actually someone else's, <laughs> okay? So that is the energy for Pisces. Let's go on to the next. Okay, so we have Aries. Okay, so Aries, your uh, full moon is in a sixth house, okay? And we're dealing with emo emotional repression, okay? So you might wanna hold that in, which is not healthy for you, okay, Aries? Pay attention to some crafts might be happening. Um, also, um, personal hygiene, home care, reorganizing, um, health. Um, you're really looking into your health, but be careful of being hypocritical due to the repression, the emotional repression, and um, may pretend it's okay while hinting that it's not and making others feel guilty. That is the energy of this uh, placement. So be aware of that and try not to make others feel guilty if you're repressing emotion. Just be real. Okay, Pisces, now um, you're not gonna feel normal uh, because mostly Aries energy is going off of their gut. Um, so we have the 10 of swords here, and this is, uh, there is a burden here, and you feel like you're stuck, um, and it's highly emotional, and there's cloudy judgment, okay? But this is the end of a journey because this is a 10, and you're gonna get over this. You're gonna get over this negative talk. You're gonna get over this hurtfulness that you're physically feeling, okay? And it will be better. And it, like it says, pay attention to your home crafts, personal hygiene, home care, reorganizing. Um, look into your health. Focus on those things. Do not focus on this negative talk or whatever it is that's that you feel like it's uh, backstabbing, 
okay kind of energy okay and know that that's about to end too next we have taurus and taurus um your full moon is in the fifth house and hard to conceal your feelings from others because the sun is like hello <laughs> the moon is here wake up um so you may um project more than normal onto others reconsider their relationship if they can't handle your energy, your current mood, okay? Um, let They need to be released, okay? Relationships with women will improve, okay? We're going to put that out there. And you may uh, be more protective and nurturing, but this energy could cause you to be overprotective as well, okay? So let's pull an oracle card, I mean a tarot card for you, my Taurus placements. Ooh, look, we have the sun. And if you see, we have the sun here as well. And uh, it's going to be shining bright on you. Okay, so be aware of that. This is very successful, though. This is a rebirth. This is a birth of something and um, pursuing things. So you're going to be able to successfully achieve something. But know that the sun is shining bright on that moon. And it's like, I see you. I see all of your emotions. Okay, Taurus, put that wall down and let it go. Um, and it's fine. Okay. Next, we have Gemini. And Gemini's, your full moon is in the fourth house, which is at home here. Okay. So you may want to seek solitude. You, you may have this like homebody kind of vibe because I always have that Um with this energy and this is a time to self-reflect um you're going to be aware of your habits maybe some habits or things you needed to control from the past and that might conflict with others um something from your past may be aware of how habits or past conditions control your life through conflict with someone from the negative words or actions okay especially with my gemini so be aware of that energy um and stay at home <laughs> we have the queen of pentacles and just like i said stay at home so the queen of pentacles is all about their home and being at home cleaning their home taking care of their home and making it even beautiful so worry about that and you will be fine with the full moon next we have cancers cancer placements hello and um your full moon is in the third house and in the third house we're dealing with communication it's ruled by mercury so communications may be subjective or not factual so it could be all in your head or it could be just not the truth okay communications with emotions and feelings emotional depth come so you want to talk to people who have some depth okay you're like what are these superficial conversations i cannot handle them that is the energy that will be the energy you will be getting. Also, past experience conversations will be big with you. Um, habits or reactions may come back. So you may have a negative experience from the past that may come back or just a positive one. It's just going to come back to haunt you. Um, habits, reactions may come back from the past. Reacting automatically instead of thinking. Be aware of that, uh, cancer placements. Also, female relationships. Someone who is a female might teach you something. Um, might be a relative. I'm going to even say cancers, your mom. Okay. Mother figure is going to teach you something. We have your tarot card is the Knight of Pentacles and with the Knight of Pentacles. They're taking their time. First of all, so take your time. Also the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking they're taking their time. They're being logical. First of all, <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a very emotional time for you, but be logical, take your time, move slow. That is the energy. That is the thing that I have to, this is what it just keeps in my head. I just want to say, take your time, move slow. So just, just move slow. Okay. Cancer placements. Okay. Next we have Leo placements and your full moon is in a second house and it's all about possessions or whatever you value may cause heavy emotions. Okay. Attachment to 
physical objects is going to be a thing. And also this is dealing with emotions. So you have physical and internal happening here. You may have to defend yourself for receiving no reward. So you're going to like defend your saying like, oh no, I didn't do this, but no one's going to give you an acknowledgement. There will be no award at the end of this argument. So um, just don't even waste your time with it. Um, you want to be surrounded by, is what I want to say, by things that are familiar. So you want to be surrounded by things that are familiar um, because you are dealing with the moon. So, um, and that's okay. That's okay, right? Um, Maybe even if you can't be a, a surrounded by something, maybe watch a movie that is more nostalgic to you. Um, and then we have the Queen of Swords. This is someone who is thinking logical, okay? Think logical, okay? Logical is just the word, okay? And also try to have clarity. Um, you do not need to hold on to those things. Um, it says it may cause heavy emotions, so yes. Try to not work on your emotions. Try to work on what's logical, okay? Leo placements, and be careful, Leos. This is all I have to say because you guys are very, when you guys are emotional, ooh, it's intense. Okay, so Virgo placements, this is for you. Your full moon is in the first house. Um, so maybe this would cause like a two-day thing. Um, this is a two-day period of personal and subjective considerations will override everything. You want to relate to your friends and loved ones. Emotionally giving to others and very emotionally demanding due to feeling inadequate, okay? So, um, subjectively, your, your considerations are going to override everything. So, emotionally, and Virgos, this might be hard for you. You're going to be overly emotional, which everyone is, um, but it's overriding a lot of things and dealing with you personally. You're going to also really want to be with friends and relating to friends and loved ones, okay? Um, emotionally giving to others. So, you'll probably give an ear to others and listen to others, um, all are, you will have the opposite because this is a, the duality here. Are you going to be really demanding? Like, why aren't you listening to me and helping me? Um, and that is really has nothing to do with your peers. That really has to do with the fact that you feel inadequate. Okay. So Virgos, we have, oh, the queen. Remember who you are, Virgos. Okay. You are the queen of pentacles. Your energy is to be logical, not logical, to be practical, to not base off of emotions, okay? Um, stand your ground, be firm. At the same time, you're mutable, okay? Know that this day will change, um, but stick to being yourself. Hone into cleaning your house and organizing and putting things in order, okay? Just be the Virgo that you are, and um, this will pass, okay? Also, to do the rituals that I discussed earlier um, with the full moon, okay, Virgo placements? Now we have Libra placements, and... Your full moon is in a 12th house. So feelings may be a secret, especially when feeling insecure. Because the 12th house is all about secrets. You don't want to talk about it. Okay? Women is a secret. Women relationships may be difficult at this time because the moon represents feminine energy. Um, may not want to socialize because you're also dealing with, uh, uh, this house is a feminine house and you're dealing with internal energy. Um, so you might be more into spirituality and looking at tarot reads or, um, pulling some Oracle cards yourself. Okay. But that's great because it's all about healing and that's what you want to do during this full moon and cleansing the energy. Ooh, we have the two of cups. It's all about aligning yourself with what you feel like is best of your value and what, what serves you, like aligned with things that are equal to you, okay? And what do you believe in? I believe in. We bring harmony and peace, and there's no conflict here. So work on that energy. Oh, yeah, and that's very Libra, um, this balancing energy and harmony, 
is basically what I was trying to say, okay? So work on what best works for harmony for you, Libra placements. Next, we have Scorpio placements, and your full moon is in the 11th house. Emotional contacts with friends are important. Personal discussions, female relationships are going to be deeper. You're going to have deeper conversations with them. Um, may feel more protective with friends and get emotional support. May be possessive of a friend. Um and and or jealous okay scorpios do not be jealous okay and we already know that energy is living in there okay so work on that um and i understand female relationships are going to be important they are important yes they are but we're going to work on that look at that we have the six of swords there's going to be transition there's going to be peace and harmony there is going to be a change to peaceful calm waters okay and that is what this full moon is going to give you it's going to give you a transition it's going to give you peace you're going to be calm with this energy okay especially and, and it's going to be more logical there's water there but there's also swords which is uh, about logic and clarity Okay, Sagittarius placements, this is for you. I thought a card fell. Um, your full moon is in the 10th house. So it's all about business, professional concerns that will be in the focus. Um, personal life might be on display because you're, the 10th house is out in the public and business and professional, but yet you're emotional. So um, you may have an emotional outburst at work or some type of emotional display. Now, two things can happen here. One, it can make you more relatable and people are going to love that. And they're gonna be like, wow, she's not that rigid as we thought, she's human. And people can relate to um, emotions because everyone has emotions. Or two, you have to set some boundaries, okay? So be aware of not being too emotional. Um, this is really good for our public relations as well too. But um, if you're in that work. But um, yes, yeah, set boundaries, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you really need to set boundaries because the Sagittarius, I know, they don't. This is all about family, um, inheritance, money with family. And um, yeah, and this says professional. So I'm thinking like family and money, it's going to intertwine somehow um, because Family is also your emotional self and you deal with family more. And then the way you get money is connected to the external world or maybe both. Maybe this is going to bring both of those energies together if you're not doing that already. Like maybe you're working with family or something like that. But it's something with family and money. Okay. And this is going to deal with this new moon, this full moon and, um, just have boundaries. Maybe you need to have boundaries. It's not in reverse. So it makes me think this is what you want. This is what's going to happen. Or there could be an inheritance. Um, something that's going to happen. 10th house, yeah. Something that's going to happen with money from this energy, okay? In abundance. It's a positive card, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and you guys are all about that luck and faith. Okay, so Capricorn placements. Um, I thought we did Capricorn placements. We did not. Capricorn placements, your full moon is in the ninth house. And um, you may not want to do day-to-day -day routine. Um, you want to get out. Nothing too radical because the moon is all about familiarity it's like what 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 this isn't familiar so you want to do something different but yet you're going to do it within a certain like stru uh, structure okay um study mental journeys meet new friends from different backgrounds um also looks like the moon is not look like it's the full moon is also going to your eighth house so there's intense emotions and um you may feel overly possessive over someone so be aware of that energy, Capricorn placements. Your card is, wait, I'm sorry, let me shuffle the cards here. And your tarot card is, ooh, seven of pentacles. This is so fitting for Capricorn placements. So you're all about your goals and everything. So this full moon is going to the plants, you're gonna plant the seeds and it's gonna start growing. You're going to see whatever it is you're working on is going to start growing. And to the, um. Full moon is, the new moon is where you manifest, 
I said it earlier. And the full moon is going to teach you like, okay, how can this manifestation really work for us? Okay, what change and what do you need to cleanse from that? And it's saying that you are planting to seeds and your goals are going to be achieved. Just take your time and you all about your goals. So you will. Um, now we're doing Aquarius placements. Hello, Aquarius. Your um, full moon is in the seventh house and you need to pay attention to personal relationships. The relationships, you are more, okay, you're going to be more emotional at this time with relationships. And you guys are not, that energy is not really you guys, but this is going to happen. Um, this could affect bad marriages and um, relationships with haters. Um, if you're in love, it's all positive. Um, conflicts will be more emotional. Um, you may be more de detached, which is, oh, it may be hard for you to detach which is interesting because that's so an Aquarian of you. Um, confrontations with women may be more intense, positive, and negative. Okay, so let's see what we have for my Aquarius babies. We have the nine of wands, and you have to persevere, uh, stand your ground. It's almost the end, okay? This is the end of the journey. The journey will start over. Um, whatever this issue is, just... Stand your ground and persevere, okay? And thank you guys. If you're still here, please subscribe, like this video, share this video. And thank you guys for watching. I will, um, you will see the next video, which is all about Saturn um, and Pisces. All right, so see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.